In this video, I'm gonna be sharing seven tips and tricks so that you can get the most out of your Canon M6 Mark II. Let's get it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Decore with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do YouTube strategy tips as well as tech gear tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So let's jump right into tip number one, and that is select your frame rate. This camera shoots 4K at 30 frames per second, and currently, as we're shooting this video, it does not shoot at 24 frames per second. However, Canon has said that they will put out a firmware update to unlock 24 frames, which a lot of people like using for filmmaking, cinematic videos, and stuff like that. But we do like using 30 frames here at Think Media. So the first thing you're gonna do is make sure your dial is set to movie mode, hit the quick menu button, and then select 4K 29.97. Now, when shooting at 30 frames per second, you wanna double your shutter speed, so we're gonna set that to 1 60th of a second. Then we're gonna bring down our aperture as low as possible, and then we're gonna adjust our ISO according to our setup. If you're vlogging, you're gonna to wanna to just change your movie exposure from manual to auto. Now, if you wanna shoot in 120 frames per second, you can with this camera, and it shoots 120 frames at 1080p. You're just gonna to have to go into the menu, select movie record quality, then select high frame rate movie and hit enable. This now will unlock super slow motion so you can slow down your footage 4X, but just keep in mind, again, the double shutter rule. So now we're gonna to have to set our shutter speed to 1 to 50th of a second so that the footage could come out as smooth as possible in post. Tip number two is to select autofocus. This camera has incredible autofocus, but you do want to unlock it to be as easy, set it and forget it as much as possible. And the way you do that is simply hitting the quick menu button. Under AF method, you want to select tracking. And this is the best for filming yourself or even if you're shooting behind the camera and you need to focus on subjects, simply tap on what you want to focus on. However, you do wanna make sure your servo autofocus is turned on and enabled, and you make sure about that by seeing the green dot on the bottom left screen. As you can see, if I tap it off, it goes gray, but you wanna make sure it's on when using tracking. Keep in mind, you lose autofocus capabilities when you shoot in 120 frames per second. So when doing so, you're probably just gonna to wanna to use manual focus at that point. The next tip is a cold shoe relocation mount. Because this camera has a tilting flip up screen, putting a mic on top of it will obstruct the view of the screen. So getting a relocation mount will allow you to put a microphone off to the side, letting you get the best audio as possible. And now speaking of audio, let's go into the next tip, which is setting your audio settings. So what you wanna do is you wanna set your audio record settings from auto to manual. Canons are famous for having internal preamps for audio, and so for most use cases, you can just set the notch when in manual to just up one, and then letting your mic kind of do the work from there. If you're in a situation like if you're vlogging and your camera is moving from close to far away from you and it, that, that audio is changing, uh, just monitor your audio at that point. You wanna stay around negative 12 decibels when doing so, but we found the best set and forget it is to just simply put it up one notch. The next tip is to turn on image stabilization. One of my favorite things about the Canon M6 is its image stabilization. And just so you know, it does have two levels. We found that the first level is the best because it looks most natural, whereas the enhanced version gives it a very warpy, unnatural effect. So another way you can maximize smoothness is looking for lenses that have image stabilization built into it. So when you marry the two, the image stabilized lens and then the internal image stabilization turned up one notch, then you're gonna get really smooth handheld footage. The next tip is to invest in lens adapters. Because this Canon has an EFM mount, uh, I would say that there are some limitations to your lens selections as far as what you can buy. Sigma has been putting out a couple lenses for these cameras. Like we love the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 lens. It's a super cool lens if you're using it for talking head videos or even vlogging, giving you that nice blurry background. However, it still is pretty limited out there on the market. And the way to get around this is investing in lens adapters. Now there's two kinds of lens adapters and I wanna tell you about each of them real quick, uh, just so you know which one you would probably wanna buy. The first one is actually a Canon branded one and it's just a simple lens adapter that goes from your Canon EFM mount, which will go on the camera, to then an Canon EF lens, which is usually the Canon lenses with the red dot. So if you got like the nifty 50, which is like about a $100 lens, you can now throw on this lens on the Canon M6 because of this adapter. 
Now the other lens is the Viltrox adapter. And we've talked about this adapter a few times in, on this channel. Uh, we actually made a video on it and we'll put a link to it in the YouTube card and in the description below. But this, as you can see, has, a, has kind of like a magnifying glass in it. And what it actually does is it turns your crop sensor camera into kind of a full frame. So it's the same kind of adapter as the Canon one, but the difference is what's in the middle. It uh, has the glass in the middle, whereas the Canon one has nothing in the middle. So essentially allows you to use the full 50 millimeters out of this lens because of this uh, technology that's in this adapter. This is an adapter we would encourage anyone who has a Canon M camera uh, that has the EFM mount to get because of its ability to just add on any Canon EF glass and then make it full frame. It's kind of like the best thing in the world that you can have for your camera. All right, so I got one more tip, but if you're getting value out of this video, why don't you smash the like button for me? Thank you so much. And uh, it's probably gonna be the best tip out of all of them, but I wanted to let you know about our Think Gear Guide. Uh, in this gear guide, we break down all the equipment and accessories you may need to create YouTube videos for every budget level. So you can check that out at thinkgearguide.com and let's get into the next tip. The cool thing about this camera is that you can connect it to your phone to either control it off your phone or pull photos from the camera straight to your phone so you can post directly to Instagram. I love doing this. And so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to download the Canon Camera Connect app on your phone. Then you're gonna go into your menu and on the signal menu icon, down there you're gonna change your name of your camera. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put Think Media. Then go to Wi-Fi, enable it. Then you wanna turn off the password just so you can get to it way quicker. Then select Wi-Fi Bluetooth connection, open your app, connect the camera to the phone, and then you can start sending photos straight to your phone and video clips as well. Another thing you can do is start and stop recording. And so if you're filming yourself, you can simply have your phone off to the side, hit record to stop. And if you need to take a break, you know, cut the recording. And so that's a cool feature out of the Canon M6. Now I got a question for you and what is your go-to camera at the moment? Let me know in the comment section below. And thanks so much for checking out this video. If you wanna check out more videos on this specific camera, the Canon M6 Mark II, you could click or tap the screen. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Peace.